All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're gonna be talking about the update to the Act Man and Quantum TV situation. Now, this is a pretty unfortunate update, man. It's actually kind of worrying to see not only the state that YouTube is in as a website, but to see just how creators can get treated on this platform, even if they really didn't even do anything wrong. Everything about this situation is unfortunate. And uh, I feel like most of you have probably heard about it at this point. So just to give you guys a quick refresher, if you don't know what's going on, on. Two YouTubers by the name of The Act Man and Quantum TV have had a little bit of a beef for the last few months because of, well, a lot of different things. Quantum TV has been accused of copyright abuse by taking down people's videos that are critical of him. He's been accused of saying things that are against community guidelines and breaking like six or seven different rules on YouTube, including ban evading. And it's boiled up into getting into this massive drama between the two where The Act Man has made several videos covering this situation, and they've all been pretty good. In fact, just like last Last week, we reacted to the recent video live. It was like an hour long that the Act Man made, and I gotta say, the videos have been pretty good. I've been a fan of the Act Man for years at this point, so it didn't really take me by surprise that he had good content surrounding this entire situation, but unfortunately, there are some pretty shocking updates in this situation, and uh, they are not in favor of Act Man, unfortunately. I think that most people who were kind of siding with the free speech on YouTube, with the ability to make content without being copyright claimed, falsely and things like that. They were kind of on Act Man's side, but YouTube has continued to take Quantum TV's side in this entire thing, and unfortunately, there's been some pretty massive things that have happened in the last 24 hours regarding this. So to introduce this entire thing, I want to provide you guys with the biggest update of them all here. The Dark Age of YouTube was just taken down from YouTube. I'm rattled, and it says the content was removed due to a violation of community guidelines. Now, if you know anything about the Act Man and his content, I think we can all agree that he's pretty much never really crossing the line, right? Like, in terms of what he's doing with, like, this video in specific, I think we can all agree, especially if you've seen the video, that this did not violate community guidelines, especially for the reasons that YouTube has claimed that it violated the community guidelines. So a pretty big problem, really, on YouTube is not only just false claiming, but being falsely accused of different things. It can even be as simple as being demonetized. I've been demonetized for making terrorist threats, which obviously has never once happened on my YouTube channel. I've been age restricted on content for literally no reason and been given no explanation. These kinds of things happen, right? So when I saw this, I was convinced that there would be hopefully a quick resolution to the situation, but unfortunately that is absolutely not what happened. And we saw, well, quite the opposite in all reality. So apparently the video was taken down because of nudity and sexual content. The only explanation is that the cucumber jokes were considered sexually explicit. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think poorly photoshopping a cucumber into someone's mouth is a sex act, LMAO. Well, not only that, but if that were the case, I thought YouTube would just, like, hit the video with limited ads or something like that. I, I don't think that that's even close, remotely close, to warranting a full takedown of the video for community guidelines. Like, there's actual softcore porn shit that gets uploaded to YouTube every day, and there's literally no problems with these videos on YouTube's part. I, I don't even know if they demonetize content like this sometimes. I mean, you see some of these family channels out here, man, but yet photoshopping cucumbers in someone's mouth is deeming a, a violation of community guidelines. I just, I don't know about that. I think that's completely ridiculous and I feel like YouTube really dropped the ball here. I don't really see any situation in which you can really look at this and be like, yeah, YouTube got this one right. YouTube did what exactly they should have done, right? Because this is just so far over the line of what should have been done. You would think that YouTube would be able to immediately jump on this and fix the situation and whatnot, but absolutely not. That is not what happened. It actually gets worse. Two other videos of mine were just demonetized and age-restricted. These happened in the span of one minute from each other, all three videos in the span of one hour. Quantum is false flagging my channel right now. The appeal for the dark age of YouTube was rejected within 30 minutes. Maybe someone at YouTube really has it out for me or something. Now, one thing I want to point out about this video, the dark age of YouTube that got taken down, is YouTube quite literally could not have appealed this correctly. Now, assuming that most of us agree that if your video is flagged and you appeal it to YouTube, that in order to do a full review, they should have to watch the video in its entirety. If you hold them to that standard, then YouTube quite literally did not meet that. This video, from my recollection, was like 56 minutes long, which obviously, if the appeal was rejected within 30 minutes, that is actual concrete proof that whoever at YouTube reviewed this video did not watch it in its entirety, which when we're talking about a video being removed for community guidelines, something that serious, I think that you should have the right to have your video watched in its entirety to really make sure that it's 
not actually violating community guidelines. I don't think that that's a stretch, right? So YouTube literally didn't even watch the full video during the appeal to even review it in the first place. At this point, I'm really not convinced YouTube's gonna fix the situation at all, because that's just absolutely ridiculous. And obviously it's quite suspicious that during this entire thing, as YouTube takes this video down for community guidelines, that you then see two other videos get hit with these types of moves from YouTube too, literally one minute within one another, right? And just to throw this in here too, another YouTuber involved in this situation by the name of Review Tech USA, I'm assuming most of you know who this is as well, while the act man's video was being mass flagged, or his videos I should say, were being mass flagged, uh, Rich from Review Tech's video, a stream highlight talking about the entire thing, was randomly hit with limited ads, so the video was completely demonetized basically because limited ads really doesn't mean anything, coincidentally right at the same time that all the rest of this was happening. So it obviously looks like in this instance that it was a targeted campaign, not even particularly by someone not at YouTube, but even if it could have been somebody within YouTube or something like that, this is still very suspicious because these are two completely different creators and for them both to be getting hit like this at the same time is definitely suspicious. Now I went back and I looked at my videos talking about this subject and even the stream highlight for channel members and everything to see if anything was really done to these videos or these clips and nothing has happened to my content quite yet. If there is any update on that, I will keep you guys posted over on Twitter. So I guess it's not going full out in terms of reporting and spamming people's content in general who's made this, but... Unfortunately, the act man seems pretty defeated in this situation from the tweets that I've seen. I'm going to go ahead and read the follow-ups to this entire thing here. So, I don't know if the channel will be mysteriously taken down in the near future, but if it does, it's been an honor making content for you all these years. This is the act man signing out. Now, it seems like the act man is kind of more or less worried about his channel being taken down because obviously, if you didn't know, if you get enough community guidelines violations, YouTube will terminate your account. Honestly, I don't think this is going to happen personally. I at least really hope that this doesn't happen because this would be number one a very unjustified takedown of a channel number two it would be taking someone down who's actively trying to better the platform which is really not even in youtube's best interest anyway and number three it would set a terrible precedent for copyright features and overall abilities on this platform for pretty much all creators anyway the way this situation has shaken out, basically, if someone doesn't like the opinion that you share, they can copyright strike your video, and then on top of that, not only will YouTube side with them, they'll then take down your response videos for community guidelines. I think you all can obviously see the problem with that kind of precedent being set on YouTube. This is absolutely ridiculous. The act man then posted recently uh, in the last couple hours, which early in the morning, by the way, uh, so you may or may not have already seen this, but uh, the act man posted a longer update update that I wanted to read off here to kind of recap the whole situation and end this video. So, after having some time to think, I don't believe Quantum TV is behind the recent removal of my video and demonetization of other videos. Nobody deserves to be condemned under false charges, even Quantum. I stand by every other accusation I've levied against him and firmly believe he needs to be removed from the platform. Although I risk my channel and my life's work of the last seven years by saying this, it is not Quantum that's the problem. There is severe corruption happening at YouTube. That is my firm belief. I could not live with myself if I did not speak my truth on the matter. This is a gut feeling I have. My brother was doxxed during all of this and harassed by a mysterious phone number claiming to be Quantum but was not him. I continue to put my family in jeopardy by fighting for the justice that I believe in and I cannot do that anymore. Today I will post what may likely be my last video on YouTube before I am removed. Whether I am banned or not, I must take a break from YouTube. I've had time to reevaluate my priorities in life. I've spent the last seven years working on the act, man. I think it's time I worked on Kelly and Kelly's family. I hope there's a channel to come back to, but if there is not, then at the very least, I will have had the chance to say goodbye. Please carry the torch of revolution in my absence. Continue fighting for a better YouTube. Copyright abuse must not be tolerated. Hate speech must not be tolerated. Threatening children must not be tolerated. And all of the other community guidelines, quantum is broken. None of it should be tolerated. Justice must be served. A dragon never yields. So clearly this situation has taken a lot of a big toll 
on the act man in this entire situation not only does he believe his channel's at risk but obviously his family's at risk his brother has been doxxed if you know anything else about the situation his mother was called and harassed by quantum tv so we're talking about a pretty serious situation here so i want to go ahead and say that i wish the best to act man i don't believe that this will be the end of his channel i'm at least holding out hope that he will be able to continue to make youtube videos because i i know that you know generally i try to keep it pretty uh i guess official slash businessy when i make these videos but i actually am genuinely a very big fan of the act man's content the idea that his content could be completely taken down and his channel deleted actually pretty much upsets me on a personal level i really don't want to see that happen not only because of the precedent that this would set on youtube but as a fan of this guy i don't want to see this happen so with that being said though thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel follow me over on twitter and facebook at sub to optimus make sure to check out shoptimus down below and until my next video guys this is optimus well talking about the act man situation and signing out.